technology, technology, technology. Today, we are living in the 21st century, surrounded by technology. Have you ever wondered, what if robots took over humanity? Yes, we have all wondered that by seeing science fiction movies. But what if this could be a reality? Yes, this could be a reality. As robots are able to learn faster than humans, they're able or they're capable to understand different things and make it into simpler things for us itself. Robots are able to adapt to different temperatures. For example, if one of us goes to Antarctica right now, we'll freeze to death. But if a robot goes, they're able to adapt to different temperatures. They know what to do in their lives. Now, talking about robots, how will they work in the future and what will they do? Robots in the future would be everywhere and everywhere. Let's take an imagination to the next level. Having skyscraper buildings, having flying cars, robots here and there. But not only to that, robots would be coding each other and they would also be helping in healthcare and each and every field available. Now talking about healthcare, have we all, are we all tired of having pills or medicines? Yes, we all are. What if we could have the pill once? In that pill would be made of sugar, so it could dissolve in our body. It would be provided one month medicine, and those details would be saved in a nerformic chip. Now, have you ever tried to 3D print your own body organs? Are you? No, no one has tried that, because it's not possible. But in the future, this would be possible. We would be using biometrical cells to create such things. Even right now, from one human cell, we can regenerate our bodies. Body organs, not such organs such as hearts, but some easy organs such as, lung, such as liver and such as those. Now, talking about these, these all could be, these data could be saved in nerformic chips. Now the main question raises, what is nerformic chips? Nerformic chips are chips where such data, of, the, of such data such as the pills, the lungs, and many technological things flowing through our body, the data is being saved. Right now, if you are studying, you are not able to see, you are not able to remember. Right now, if I go, I cannot, so I cannot remember each and everybody's names or where they are from. But what if there was a lens? A technological lens in which I can identify each and every person in the crowd. I could spot a person who I want to see or who I want to meet. And these lenses would also help to record different selves. As in right now we have to use a mic, but in the future those lenses would be everything. Right now we have to hold a device in our hand. But those lenses, we would having a phone while seeing. We have to use our computers for Zooms or some meetings, but those lenses would be everything. And all this data is have to be saved somewhere. This data goes to the nerformic chip, which is flowing into our bodies. These chips would be our vital organs to record our healthcare facilities, to record our heartbeat a day. We are wearing watches, but do we know exactly if they're telling the right thing? We are not sure. But those chips would be inside our body, flowing and telling everyone what is the real deal. And these were smart lenses that I was talking about. These lenses have the capability to spot anyone and everywhere. These lenses have the capability to do anything. The, from these lenses, I can see any one of you and every one of you at the same time. Now, how would transportation in future work? So I've already said about flying cars, the bikes and everything. But these cars would be eco-friendly. Right now, we are, harming, we are harming our planet for a long time. But we need to reduce it and by also enjoying it. We can use solar panels, which can help these cars, which can help generate electricity. Now, first talk about how we can generate electricity or the manifestation of solar energy. The solar energy is abundant in the sky. As you have a sun as a space, Right now, we're not able to generate so much electricity. We're using such precious resources as coal. But in the future, we would only need sun's energy and a solar panel. We could have solar panel mills in different states generating a lot of electricity. But with this, we also have to use solar panels in our house, in our cars, and everywhere. Now, talking about cars, let's talk about the most important thing, transportation. The transportation would happen in many fields, such as drone bikes. These bikes would be almost like flying bikes or like super fast. You'll not even feel that you are like, you're teleporting from somewhere to there. Now we have all seen many movies. Have you seen everyone back to the future? In that, there are many people who are driving, who are riding a board. These people are riding flying boards. But what if this could be reality? We all would be riding flying boards, going from somewhere to other. 
Now, right now, we could also use some e-bikes. These e-bikes would be faster than our normal bikes. It would save some energy. But now, the main question is, by having such amenities, are we getting ourselves lazy? Yes, we would be. But it is according to our choice if we have to do exercise, if we have to do such important things. But for this, technology is also available. We can use technologies to understand how much exercise we are doing, and how it can affect our body. As many people have different bodies, they need to know what to do from their own body temperature or from their own body structure. Now, what have you heard of a term astro mining? Astro mining, I guess no one has heard, as this is a futuristic term used by many scientists but have been declined. These terms, this astro mining is a thing which can be used right now, but we are not using it. As we are actually, ask, we are saving the budget for many different things. This requires a lot of money, as many people are not ready to get many resources from asteroids, meteoroids, but they are saying that the cost would be too much. Right now, we are, our Earth is getting depleted of such resources. We are excavating her down. We call Mother Earth her mother, but are we actually curing Mother Earth as a mother? No, we are not. By using such methods, we can take out some space, we can take out space rocks, we can take out uh, metals, we can take out many different organs or, or anything we need for the technological advancements that in the future we require. But using this method would also be costly and also use a lot of brain as many people would require to create such machines so that everyone can do this automatically. Now, let me tell you, these astro mines, mining is one of the things that can happen as I've said before. But this would also connect to your neuroformic chips or your eyes. You can see the moon from your own eyes. Like, right now you're seeing it in pictures and satellite pictures. But what if your eye was a satellite itself? It would be so cool. So last but not the least, we have to work hard for a future. And thank you everyone for having me here. Thank you.